to Unicorns Cook. My name is Braylon Courtney. Today we're going to be making simple white bread. All right, so we're gonna start by making a yeast mixture. You're gonna want one cup of water, about a third of a cup of white sugar, Make sure your water is warm, or if you want to be precise, 110 degrees. Next, you want to add in one tablespoon of yeast. All right, I have a fork at hand to gently mix. Make sure it all gets incorporated. Make sure all of the sugar and yeast they all get absorbed into the water. All right, I'm gonna quickly grab a whisk to, whisk to use. That will probably make the job go a little quicker. All right, as you can see, the water turns a little more yeast colored. All right, that'll work for now. We're gonna set this to the side. Well, that works, we're gonna start putting our other ingredients together. You wanna have about three cups of flour. Add it right in. The best quality ingredients make the best quality food. So we're making sure we have, we have the best flour we can find. Allergy friendly, of course. And you can just put your oil right in. Now we're gonna add in about half a teaspoon of salt. All right. So now we're going to attach it to the mixer, well, to the mixer. And then you wanna put in your whisk. We're using a dough whisk. Lift the bowl up. It should have a lever on the side. Plug it in. Stir. All right, we're gonna let that mix. And once this is mixed and our yeast is all ready to go, I'll see you then. All right, oh, it's ready. It's nice and foamy on the top. Let's give it a little stir. And now we're gonna pour this Now we're gonna put the rest of it in. Make sure you scrape it all out. All right. Now we're gonna put it on store, stir, until it looks more like dough. It's time to prep it for the oven. First, you're gonna to wanna to have some flour on, on hand and gently sprinkle your cutting board and hands. Maybe a little more. About this much will do. Next, you're gonna to wanna to grab your dough, which is just rice, and you're gonna to wanna to knead. You wanna grab it and fold it into itself and push. That's how you knead. So we're gonna do this a couple times until it's all mixed up. Ooh. Now we wanna make it look nice and pretty for the oven. So we're gonna kind of grab the edges and fold it into itself to make the top prettier. You wanna make sure you don't tear the dough. All right, let's set it on the sheet so it can rise once more. All right. Now we're going to get ready to score it. You want to gently tap with some flour. Oop. All right, so we're gonna make kind of a design. If you don't want your design to turn out like this, you can look it up and there'll be tons of different options. Make sure you search up how to score bread. We 
I'm going to score two of these. I'm excited to see how this design turns out. Maybe we'll make just one more. Right here. Make sure you put some lines to let all of the steam out. All right, I think that's good for now. We're gonna move our things off the oven. It's time to put it in. Since we're using a steam oven, we're gonna put it on auto steam bake. See you when it's done. Bye. I know you're trying to film the bread, but it smells so delicious. Like, <sighs> you guys should smell this. I wish you could smell through the phone because then your your nose would be so happy. All right. Guess I'll see you when it's ready, which I'm gonna be very excited for. It's it be done. Right, let's check. If you don't have counters where you can directly put hot stuff, you might want to put it down on a cooling rack. Oh, look at all the designs. I know it might be really hard, but we have to resist that urge to cut right into it. Looks like our bread is cool enough. I think it's time to cut it. Ooh, I can feel it cutting in. idea. Well, you can decide on what you want to do with the bread, but I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.